Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Back at it again in Cakewalk, man. Yo, have you uh, ever wondered how to make one of these? Yes, 808s. Uh, today I'm going to actually show you how I make my 808s. I'm going to use a couple of different programs, show you how I do it. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk. Um, I kind of have a couple of different um, synths set up. So it looks like I have about six of them here for you guys to kind of go through how I can make them in different ones and show you the basis of how they're actually made. This first one is a contact and I actually have it uh, set up. This is the one you heard in the beginning. So basically, um, I believe someone was asking me how to actually do like pitch for your 808. So here's one way inside of uh, complete control. You need to get G tune. Um, I'm going to actually link this in the description so that you can actually go and get this. I'm actually hitting the F key and it's showing me that it's hitting the F. C, F, C. So I know my, uh, 808 is actually in tune. So that is a way to actually do the in tune for your uh, 808s. And this is the 808 here. So I'm just going to lay down a real quick pattern so that way you can actually hear them on the rest of the uh, 808s that we designed. I just made a real quick um, 808 kind of uh, pattern. So the first one we're going to actually work on is Serum. A lot of people actually have Serum and um, it's really cool and you can kind of do it pretty quick inside of Serum as well. Um, there's a couple of steps you have to actually do to actually get started. Uh, the first thing I like to do is actually turn off this mode and put it on envelope. So that way when you're actually playing that note is not gonna keep trying to play it. So you wanna always start with your uh, default and see where you wanna actually take it. Um, do you want it to actually be this uh, saw or do you wanna actually try something else? I know this analog BD sign is usually the one people will use if they're trying to do an 808, so we're gonna use that. And as you see, it's that curve for uh, like a smooth or smoother uh, sound wave all right so what we want to do is actually go to here where it says octave and we're going to bring this down two octaves so if you scroll over and drag down it'll give you an option to drag it down we're going to go to two as you already hear it gives it that low thud All right, so what you want to actually do now is um, seeing that the attack isn't that sharp, you're not going to hear that real pop, but it kind of sounds like a kick is in the front. All right, so let me move this um, this wave down, this uh, MIDI down, I should say. So now. That sounds pretty dope. Just just doing that a little bit there, but um, let's make it more of an 808 sound. So we're actually going to turn down this sustain. The sustain is what makes the note hold so long. We're going to take that down, and we want to actually add some uh, decay to it. And we can turn down the release. And you hear that little pop in the beginning, that's due to the attack.
Uh, but most people like that uh, little click. So what we can do is um, take this LFO. This LFO is what kind of makes the um, the 808 uh, give it its kind of character. So I'm going to grab this LFO and I want to put it onto this actual sound wave. So this section here will give it that option to actually do like um, a pitch. All right, so now this LFO is linked to this channel here, and you can actually see it when you're inside the matrix. As you see, it says uh, it's doing a pitch, the course pitch, but we don't want it to pitch both ways. We don't want, we don't, we don't want it to go up and down for the 808. We want to just go one way. So we just, if you click on it, it'll give you an option to go one way. So the arrow is going to go on that, that way, All right? So. And you see it's following this triangle now. So now if we actually mess with this, we can grab it by the little points. And now you grab this point here, it'll actually give it to bend almost like you're doing uh, this over here, just like the K curve. You're doing the curve over here. And then what you're just to top it off, you want to actually add some distortion. So that's when you add the little drive on here and that'll give it that nice thump that you want on there. And you can always add other effects like your phaser or you can add uh, some EQ on there to kind of knock off some of that uh, high and you just add, move this EQ up, make sure it's under your distortion Put it on your uh, high pass filter or low pass filter. Um, and you want to actually take away the notch. You can change the frequency. And then of course you can also add another oscillator if you wanted to in here and kind of just say, change some of the settings in here as well. But basically that is how you would actually create your 808. You can actually do a whole bunch of different things. You have your portamento here to make it slightly, you have your legato mode and you have your mono. So it'll only play that one note at a time. So it gives you a whole bunch of different options in Serum. That's why a lot of people actually use it to actually make 808s. But let's move along. Yeah, so this is massive. This is another one a lot of people kind of use to make um, 808s in. So uh, usually you want to kind of go like column by column to kind of get what you want. So this is oscillator one. Uh, like we can actually turn off two, we can turn off three. Um, we can go and change the, the type. Right now it's on a square. So we're going to go to the sine wave that's a square. What we want to do is drop the pitch first. That's the first thing we want to kind of do is drop the pitch. We're going to go down to 24, which is two octaves below. And already you have like, so you kind of get, you want to get it to kind of do like some drive or kind of 
give it some more thump or that bassy. And then if you want to do some more, you can insert like a, um, a sine shaper. So this will give your, uh, sine, your sine wave a little uh, shape to it. And then uh, you want to actually do like a um, voicing here. And we want to go to monophonic. So they'll play just one voice at a time. And we're going to go to this envelope. So the envelope is basically where you have all your information for your uh, 808. And we're actually going to the thing about massive is you have to kind of drag your envelopes to where you want them. Like I'm going to put it in this channel for this oscillator. So I'm going to drag this up there. So if you hit on this little cross, you see the one dragging with it. So then you can actually put the one in there and I'm going to actually go up on this. I'm going to go to 12, which is like have. All right, so we want to actually get rid of uh, this part here and we're actually going to turn off this release. We're going to go all the way. We're going to turn down this uh, level for the decay. All right, and I'm going to put an effect on here. Let's go with this uh, tube. I'm just going to close this out and I'm actually going to drag this one down. So that one actually has a sound on it as well. And And of course you have another 808 there and that's the massive weight. So we're going to go into the reason rack and we're going to mess with this subtractor. Subtractor is um, a part of that reason rack light that I actually got. Right now it's set to uh, a reset device. So this is how it sounds. All right. And I'm going to actually drag this MIDI down to this track as well. So that you'll be able to hear what the 808 sounds like in kind of content. All right, I'm going to mute this massive. All right. So first thing we want to do is get rid of this poly because we only wanted to play one key at a time. And then we want to go over to the oscillator. So the oscillator is basically the same as uh, this, the massive oscillator one and the same as the uh, serums oscillator. So all of them have the same startup way of setting it up. So you want to start with your oscillator. You want to actually go to a sine wave. You, you can usually know it's the sine by the S curve. All right. So inside of here, you have your, um, this FM will kind of give it like a little resonance kind of thing on there. And then you probably want to turn up the level. And um, what we want to do is change the octave. See right now it's up four octaves. That's why it sounds so high. So we're going to bring this down to two.
All right, so we're going to actually take off some of this sustain so it's not holding so long and bring down the decay. All right, so you want to actually do this mod envelope. It actually gives it a little bit more um, oomph. So you hear that little kick in the front of it. And there you go. That is a simple way of making it in Subtractor. Then you, in Reason Rack, you can also add like the really dope effects in here, like this scream, give it more distortion. Um, I've actually used some of this distortion before. You hear that? And now that's just the, the stock way it comes coming into the program itself. So yeah, so. So definitely a really dope um, way of actually getting some more buzz and everything inside your track. So yeah, so that's how you would make it in Reason Rack with the Subtractor. Reason also has, let me bring this one down, another synth that actually does bass and it's this uh, bass synthesizer. So I'm going to reset the device. It's back to the standards. This is how it actually will come. Nothing changed in here. So right now it's on like a triangle wave, which is another good uh, option. It sounds like for uh, this regular bass. But you see the sine wave over here. You just turn this little knob and now it says sine wave as you see. So now it's on sine wave. You make sure the other oscillator is off, which is this oscillator too. If you put it in the middle, it'll mix it. Or if you go all the way to the right, it'll just do that right side. So we want to make sure we have an envelope. So we're going to do this FM envelope. And the reason it's already uh, kind of thick like that is because this already sets it to oscillator, like a a two, as you see here, this is the two, this is the one, or a negative one, it's set to that. So, so the negative one is where we want to be. And this gives it a nice tone, this FM envelope i haven't touched in the lfo the detune or any of that other stuff all right so now what we want to do is make sure that our adsr is cool it's not really popping in the beginning so it has like a little bit of a amp attack and it, the decay is all right you may want to turn down to sustain some all right and down here is where the fun is right down here in this section here so of course this is your attack decay sustain release so So this gives it that nice.
can detune it and give it a nice heavy 808 feel to it. You turn on that uh, FM, it kind of gives it more of a lower, lower thud to it. And we're going to actually put it to uh, re-trigger so that it'll actually start when it goes over another note. And of course, once again, you can add that ridiculous uh, scream on here and it's ridiculous. <laughs> and then you have another 808 and this was the other section of reason. So all of them kind of follow that same basis. You have your oscillator and you have your setup. So here is the Tau noise maker. This is a free VST, you can go download it. It is absolutely free. Um, you want to um, know how to actually get to your oscillators and what oscillator does what. See, this is a very uh, different kind of um, synth because the oscillator one only does saw, pulse, and noise. Oscillator two actually does pulse, triangle, sign and noise so you want to do a sign because you're doing a sine wave but the oscillator 2 is turned off over here in this section so you want to turn off your oscillator 1 you can turn off your sub unless you just want to do a sub and you can do a sub that way as well to um if you want to make an 808 you can use a sub to make it but i'm going to use the oscillator 2 And before I get all the way into it, I'm going to drag this, drag this one down and I'm going to mute the reason rack and we're going to go back into Tau. And I'm just hitting the F key on here to give it that sound on there. All right. So what we want to do is detune it so that it's not so um, high. And the numbers are down here, as you can see, for what you want to be. So you want to be 24, which is two octaves down. Right? So now um, you want to you probably crank up the volume a little bit. And you have your option to detune here. But in order to actually get to where you want to, um, also has like a FM here. That gives your 808 some color. So now this is where the synth two here is where you would actually do your ADSR for your um, for your 808. So right now, the only thing that's on here is sustain. So we're going to take that down. Let's uh, do some decay. And this will actually do for your oscillator as well.
And I just raised the uh, app so I can kind of get rid of some of that clicking in the beginning. And now you kind of have that 808 feel and you want to actually put some drive on it. So I'm going to use this filter drive. Detune it a little. Let's see how it sounds. And there you go, you have an 808 inside of towel noisemaker, real quick and simple. So basically, like I said, you use your Synth 1, you use your Synth envelope, your ADSR to actually give it the character, and then you want to do the control and actually do a drive. So you want to drive some sound to it. And that's where this comes in. You can also do delays and reverbs. It looks like it has some uh, a bit crusher on here as well. Um, so. Basically, man, just go go ham, go nuts, man. Make your own 808s, sell them, use them in your beats, do whatever you need to do, man. But this is a, a pretty easy way to, to get those done. And the last but not least, I'm gonna use Helm. And as you've seen in all the rest of them, there is an oscillator and there is like a ADSR, a envelope. And then this one also has like distortion. You can actually add distortion on here. And then you, you wanna, so basically you want need an oscillator you need your envelope and you need a filter. So those are the the three things that you kind of need to make sure that you can make an 808. So let's start one in here. So I'm going to turn off the mixer for oscillator two. So right now it's on this, um, looks like a saw right now. So in here, um, this is like a default setting for it. This little box here is how you actually move to a different thing. So if I wanted another form, square, triangle, and there's a sign. All right, so now you wanna make sure you can get down to those lower octaves. So of course you want to actually go and transpose this down to 24, which is two below that sound. And as you already hear, it's, it's, it's almost there. I'm just gonna actually copy this one down just so it'll have it on there. It's already muted. Let's go back into Helm. So we're up here and uh, so we have our, our tone, we have our sign. Now we need to come to our uh, amplitude envelope. We're gonna take down this, um, the S and we're gonna bring some decay in here. Let's turn off this resonance. All right, so now we need to go to this filter. So we wanna make sure that um, you can add some drive to it. And then if we play that, and boom, that's a real quick way to do it. And here's a distortion. So right here is distortion. You click on that, it'll turn on your distortion. And you can do it like a soft clip, a hard clip, or a sign folder. crazy though man like it is the possibilities man of making things yourself and get man you get them how you want them and that, that's what a lot of people are missing just grabbing waves i know it's the faster way it's more efficient if you're like uh just keep if you want to keep pumping out beats 
But sometimes you need to slow down, just kind of make your own stuff, and then you'll feel better about it when it's all done. And boom, there you go. So I just showed you six different types of eight, actually seven, because I already have the complete control. And so seven different type of 808s in here, man. <sighs> man. All right, but that's it for this video, man. I showed you how to do it. Go out there and make it your own. Once again, it's your boy x.e.l.o. And definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll let y'all know when I drop another video. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comments below. That's it, man. Peace. I should put below. Actually, we keep this video going. Man, tell me which one you like the most in the comments below. All right, so this is the this is the helm that started over the, the helm one. All right, and this is the towel noisemaker. All right, and this is the reason rack. This is the monotone, the bass synthesizer. And this is the subtractor um, polysomic synthesizer in Reason. This is the massive. This is Serum. I know I cheated for serum, but yeah. Let me know below in the comments which one y'all like the best. I will um, actually probably just make a uh, 808 for you guys. So the one that gets the most votes, I'll ask make an 808 and actually um, somehow link it in maybe the next video. All right. Peace. Talk, 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 talk,